Hello, my name is Bill and welcome to Mind Your Crypto. Today we have BHP daily update. We are going to see the next price targets and of course, before we continue, do not forget to join our monthly subscription, Patreon slash Mind Your Crypto. Get easy profit trading, 200 altcoins through an automated system with buying and selling opportunities. You will know exactly when to buy and exactly when to sell. You will also get personal guidance every day, a manual system with over 90% win ratio, educational videos to become expert in the technical analysis and hold your future in your hands, market updates, random giveaways, pine scripts for trading you, and many other benefits. Thank you for watching. Have a fantastic day wherever you are. Let's see right now what is going to happen with BHP. So when we are looking at an altcoin, when you want to buy, you need to see two things, the technical analysis and the price analysis. We have on the technical analysis many indicators. I prefer to see the risk matrix. For example, the RSI, Relative Strength Index, Commodity Channel Index, Stochastic RSI, and the Fisher Transform for me are very good along with the MACD. So what do we have right now could be a possible a case where we go even higher or could be the case where we have a selling pressure. We are now on the 4-hour frame. That means we are looking on the short term and we are looking towards the price analysis for the next hours. So right here we have an extreme overbought with the RSI. We have an extreme overbought situation with the stochastic RSI. Same for the Komodo Channel Index and the Fisher Transform. So that means we expect soon the sellers to step in. But is this the case? Is it the case with the daily frame? We are looking with the daily frame more for the short to mid term, right? So on the daily frame, we can potentially grow even more. We do not have an overbought situation with the RSI. The Komod Channel Index, though, is in an overbought situation, but the Stochastic RSI is in an over oversold, sorry. Same with the Fisher Transform, right? We went into an oversold situation. So can we have a breakout, more of a pump, like this day back on 13 February, where we had a plus 242%. Can this be something like this today? Let's find out, because we are not sure yet if we are going to buy on the short term, right? The short term has a very high risk, although the mid term seems to be a little bit better. So we need to see the price analysis right now. What we are going to do is to see the price, how the price will correspond to the overbought situation that we have and to give some exact price targets to look after. So what we are going to do is first, we are going to draw the trend, the Fibonacci retracement from the top to the bottom to find some major resistance levels and from the bottom to the top as well. We usually draw the Fibonacci retracement from the bottom to the top to identify major support levels, but at this time we can find out major resistance levels as well. So we have the 1.0837. If we close on this 4-hour frame, and I repeat that, not cross above, but if we close, if the body of the candlestick right now stays as it is or goes even higher and closes above the 1.0858, then we can possibly be getting again into the 1.3330 and then we could be possibly be getting above into the 1.56 and maybe even higher to the 1.66 and 1.70. But what we have to do, as I repeated before, is to close above. We have some hours left till we close above this candlestick right here because until then we might be having a sell pressure. What I want you to do is to be careful with these pump and dump coins. You can see back then we just pumped so much, so heavily. Yes, you can get tons of money from it, but at the same time you can lose much. And you see that if you got trapped near the 2.48 or you couldn't sell at the 3 tether USD, you can see the selling pressure and then you can see that within just 4 hours you can be with tons of money or losing everything. So always if you want to buy, put a tight stop loss near the, your entry point. For example, if you want to buy right now and if you want to just step in, you can always put a stop loss near the 1.03 or something like that. This will provide you the safety of if you want to enter, this will provide you a safety or if you want to exit out, okay? And if we just correct, then you get liquidated, but you won't be losing so much because these altcoins having a quick pump and a quick dump. 
Right now, the best thing that BHP is doing is that it just ignores the risk that we have and the price is going higher. Therefore, this is good on the very short term, right? And we are now in just four hours a plus 32.63% again. As I told you though, we need to close above the 1.0858 and then we can go towards the next price targets, which are these as well. Can we even go to 1.94? Maybe. Maybe we have the round bottom pattern and we get near this price target right there and then we correct. But at the same time, what I want you to be is to be very careful with these Pam and Lamb coins. I will repeat that because I've seen many people get destroyed. As long, as quick as you can get money and take profits, you can quickly lose it all. And I want you to be extremely careful about that. Next price target for BHP, these ones right there. And of course, if you want my opinion, always, always put a stop loss near and wait, be patient and everything will be fantastic. You know the next price targets right now. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to join our monthly subscription, Patreon slash Mind Your Crypto. And of course, see you soon with many, many more videos. Bye.